I'll be honest, because I think I'm not gonna get away with this. My table broke. But I figured you and I know each other well enough now that I could welcome you into my bedroom. It looks different. Get over it. Patrick Bamford. He's a smart guy. He was offered a place at Harvard. He seems nice too, but he's really, really bad at keeping his team's fans happy. Last year, he cut his loan short at Crystal Palace saying it was terrible. And just last week, he completely forgot he was a registered Chelsea player and liked a load of photos of Arsenal players on Instagram celebrating their dismantling of his parent club. He claims that he was just liking his friends' photos. Right, like him and Ozil are best friends? Come on, there is more chance of him playing for the first team at Chelsea. Wayne Rooney got dropped. We all knew it needed to happen. The whole world knew it needed to happen. So it happened, and we got to see exactly how deep Manchester United's problems lie. Not so deep, about five foot nine. In the wake of Rooney's excellent performance on the bench, it turned out that Mourinho actually spoke to Rooney after the Man City game. He sat him down and told him he can't criticise other players when he's playing so badly. So from now on, Rooney, it's no playing and no talking. Arsene Wenger claimed this week that Diego Costa was yet another player that he missed out on signing. Wow, add that to the list. Let's just make a list of people he didn't miss out on signing. That would be easier. Arsene Wenger doesn't seem to get how bad it makes him look to admit to missing out on all these signings. He actually came out and said that he missed Diego Costa because he didn't know he was available. It's his job to know he's available. Mark Noble has described West Ham's defensive performance against Southampton as laughable. Correct adjective. He said on the bright side, he didn't think it could get much worse. It's bad, really bad. But don't kid yourself, it could get worse. West Ham have been accused of pumping fake crowd noises into their stadium to enhance atmosphere. That's pretty clever. The move to the London Stadium has not gone too well so far. They've also been told they can bring their kids to training. Ah, I think I can see where the problems lie. Don't bring your kids to training. It's work. Get back to work. Mamadou Sakho is not helping his cause in trying to get back into the first team at Liverpool. Not one bit. He went on to Snapchat at 3am to let his followers know that he's fully fit and it's just Jurgen Klopp keeping him away from the first team. Here's hoping that Klopp hits his Snapchat in the next 24 hours and sees that he's raring to play. I genuinely love how social media offers so many opportunities for players to be just completely and utterly unprofessional. Turns out Torino didn't actually want Joe Hart. They wanted Emiliano Vivano from Sampdoria, but they couldn't get him. I'm done.